The Story of Moses When Moses was born, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. The Pharaoh was afraid of them because he thought they might take over his country. He ordered his soldiers to kill all the baby boys at birth so they would not grow up and fight him. To save Moses, his mother made a plan. She put him in a basket and set him adrift on the river Nile and left his fate to God's will. Moses floated down the river where the Pharaoh's daughter found and rescued him. She brought him back to the palace and raised him as a son. Moses grew up in the palace as a royal prince. One day, he lost his temper and killed an Egyptian who had beaten an Israelite slave to death. He had to flee to another land. Moses lived in the land of Midian and worked as a shepherd for 40 years. One day, in the desert, he heard the voice of God from a burning bush. God asked Moses to lead his people out of slavery in Egypt to the Promised Land. Moses went back to Egypt and asked the Pharaoh to free his people. The Pharaoh did not want to lose his slaves, so he refused. God was angry and unleashed ten plagues on the Egyptians. It was the tenth plague that finally made the Pharaoh let them go. The eldest son in every family, including the Pharaohs, died. The Israelites marked their doorposts with lamb's blood so that they would be safe. The Israelites fled, but soon after, the Pharaoh changed his mind and sent his army after them. The army chased the Hebrews to the banks of the Red Sea where they were trapped. God told Moses to lift up his rod, and as he did so, the waters parted to make a dry path. When all the Israelites were safely at the other shore, Moses raised up his rod again, and the water closed on the Pharaoh's army, who had been chasing them. God had saved the Israelites once more. The Israelites were free, but they still had nowhere to live. They were searching for a land called Canaan, which they had been promised by God. Their journey was long, and they were hungry. Moses promised that God would provide food. To their amazement, the next day, they woke up to discover that the ground was covered with white food that tasted like honey. When their water ran out, God told Moses to strike a rock with his rod. As he did this, water ran out and they were all able to drink. After three months of traveling, the Israelites arrived at the foot of Mount Sinai, where God called Moses to meet him at the top of the mountain. Moses had to climb the mountain in a thunderstorm. At the top of the mountain, God gave Moses 10 important laws. These laws were called the Ten Commandments and would tell the people how to live. Moses promised God that the Israelites would keep all of the Ten Commandments. You shall have no gods before me. You shall not make any idols to worship. You shall not take the Lord's name in vain. Remember and keep the Sabbath holy. Honor your father and mother. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife nor goods.
For more information and resources related to the story of Moses, head to twinkle.com.